right back at you about to give you a couple of scriptures uh that came to mind about the particular case uh with Trayvon Martin. We're gonna go to the book of Jeremiah fifty, verse seven. Jeremiah fifty and seven. And it says All that found them have devoured them, and their adversary said, We offend not, because they have sinned against Yahweh, the habitation of justice, even Yahweh, the hope of their fathers. So, the reason that you get beat on is because they say, well, they have sinned against Yahweh. The habitation of justice. They knew that Yahweh was about justice and righteousness on the earth. They know he is balanced and the just Elohim. They even say he said they went against their own God. We were the Gentiles say he, they wasn't blessed with that God. They got pagan gods, but you went against the true and living Elohim. And that's why, because you have no morals, you have to suffer those consequences. Because you made a covenant, you made a deal. You can't go back on it now. Now you know your children, know your children's children. <laughs> but our people want to go back on it as though they will get no consequences for it. But also, in First Kings chapter 8, it says something very profound. First Kings chapter 8. And it says at verse 44, 1 Kings 8, 44 says, uh, I'm going to read verse 46. If they sin against thee, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captive to the land of the enemy, far or near. They shall bethink themselves in the land whether they will carry captive and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them. They carry them captive, saying, We have sinned, we have done perversity, we have committed wickedness. So return to thee with their heart, with all their heart, and with all their soul, in the land of their enemies, which carried them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land, which thou givest to their fathers. The city which thou chosen, the house which I built for thy name. So the people that the enemies carried this way captives into the land of the enemy. That's what they have done. Wow. Wowzers. So we go to the book of Deuteronomy twenty four. And we read something splendid, superb. And it reads in Deuteronomy chapter 28, <laughs> verse 48. It says, Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, we are serving our enemies, which Yah shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst, and the nakedness and the want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron about thy neck until he has destroyed us. We still want all things too. Very greedy people. Uh right here is talking about serving thy enemies. And he putting a yoke of iron on our neck till he had destroyed us. But I come to tell you, it's gonna be a time where that yoke is gonna be broken off. I go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and I'm going to show you where that yoke was broken off. Jeremiah 30. Verse 8. I'll start at verse 7. Alas, for that day is great so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble is when it's going to be off. But you shall be saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, say of Yah of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck and burst thy bonds. The strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. But they shall serve Yah their Elohim, 
and David their king, who I'll raise up unto them. Right here, he said, his yoke, he said, I will break his yoke from off thy neck, verse 8, and burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of us. Of us any more. But, we're going to actually go to the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and show you how, you how we can actually achieve this goal. Well, you know, I think I'll just say the envy, not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. I really uh, didn't prepare this lesson as I was supposed to, as of all of them. Kind of freestyle, so therefore I do not want to start trying to go to scriptures and it taking me a good minute to find them. So, Trayvon Warren. The Zimmerman is innocent, proven guilty. Say, so, well, why wasn't he even arrested? Maybe he didn't even shoot. You see all that screaming? He did all that screaming in that, in that one lady's tape. Like, who does that much screaming? They were screaming outside for a good four minutes or at least two minutes. You listen to the tape, people are screaming. You don't think nobody's going to watch that? Nobody looked outside. Everybody was just so scared. They called it. So it's, but it's only one 911 call and they're screaming their heart out. Like they can, you can hear them inside their house. Now, are, are they in a community where, you know, the the house is that thin that I mean the walls are thin like a project housing and you can just hear as clear as loud their confrontation. Oh they're right in my they're in my backyard. We we're in the room right next to them. I mean really they must have been in the room right next to them. Right real close to them. And decided to be on, on the phone when they were in the room right next to them. Because there's no way you can go two rooms away or anything like that and hear something outside. But it was, it, when it was, going, the sun was going down, it was, they said the sun was going down. That's even time. I mean, that's prime time. People getting home. People still up. TV still on. You really hear some stuff outside? I, I mean, you know, the story is just, you have to hear both sides. That's why the Almighty said, you know, now I, I don't, I disagree with letting the guy go if there was a kill, you know, if that was a killing. Or if, if he did it, because he may have not done it. <laughs> That's why he can just walk away free. And you guys don't even have all the details, so you are on the wrong. Because if you don't have all the details, you don't know what happened and you can be on the wrong so make sure to listen to both sides until you he get you get a public verified um, statement or what he said what all the stuff he said that went on all what Zimmerman said then you cannot pass judgment on him or you are false and you are a, you know what I'm saying your judgment is not just but let me get off this.